It's definitely a different circumstance. Um, I mean, I think besides maybe my first training camp, you uh, you go in, you kind of know what's expected. You kind of know how the days are going to go and that sort of thing. And then today I kind of had that same feeling uh, of my first training camp, uh, not knowing. I mean, obviously we had guidelines and that sort of thing, but uh, there's people there to help us through and uh, make sure we're doing the right things to stay safe and uh, wear masks and, and proper hygiene and that sort of thing. So it was, uh, it was exciting to, to get back to the rink, but it was, it was a different feeling. Um, a lot of things we had to do um, in order to uh, be safe and, and, and enjoy the facility. It's one thing to train and it's another thing to get on the ice. And I think on your first ice session, you're, you're more or less trying to get your, your legs under you and your feet on, under you. So I think we spent a good 15, 20 minutes and, and kind of just getting getting that part of our game uh, dialed in and, and getting used to our edges. Um, some people can get, can get out there and, and pick up where they left off. But um, I'm speaking for myself. It's, it's uh, if I'm off the ice for two days, it feels like I've never skated in my life before. So um, three months was, was uh, a little nerve wracking, but I, I felt a lot better uh, than, than what I expected. Um, I think Alex Chason kind of took, took the reins on the drills and, and you know what, uh, like we've, we've done a lot of drills um, throughout our careers and uh, it's more, more or less a just a conversation and, and what we want to accomplish for the skate. And, and, uh, but most of the drills were, were uh, chasers drills. A lot of the times when I'm playing, I don't even notice that there's a crowd there, um, but you can definitely feel the, the energy and, and if there's a, a big hit or, or a big save or, or a goal and that sort of thing. So that that's something that, I mean, we're just gonna have to get used to, uh, but um, I mean, we, we practice in that building many times before uh, where there's no no fans and, and we can we can pick up the intensity for practice. And I, I don't think it'll be an issue for our team. I think that uh, playoffs, regardless of who's there and the energy, I think that uh, guys can get excited enough to uh, to bring the noise for that. Having the hub city in Edmonton would be an unbelievable experience for for everybody. Um, it would help the economy here, which would be a great. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's I'm I'm kind of conflicted on on that. Um, I mean, my wife's due in two or three weeks, um, so when that kind of all starts up, obviously it would it'd be uh, such a tease for me that uh, I can't I can't drive ten minutes down the road and see my my new baby. So. Um, that's something that I'm just going to have to handle um, as it goes and kind of roll with the punches. But um, you know what? Our, our facilities are, are so big. There's, there's lots of space. And, and um, I mean, I think that if, if we're in the running, it's, it's, it's legitimate. And, and um, just from what I experienced today, going to the rink and going through everything, that um, they know what they're doing and, and I have confidence in them. We've been cooped up inside for so long without any sports. And, it's such a hockey uh, focused uh, country. Um, um, Alberta is very passionate about their sports as well. So I think it, it offers uh, uh, some hope for, for people. And I think that it's, it'll be a unique experience. I mean, when, whenever the um, playoffs starts, it's, uh, I mean, for, as a fan, does it get any better than having nice weather outside and, and enjoying a drink and watching a, a playoff game? I, I think that that's, a unique opportunity for for fans. Um, I mean, people will be excited there even before uh, COVID-19. Uh, I mean, pe people, especially in Alberta, um, love when we're in the playoffs and are very passionate in that sense. But um, I think that's regardless of, of when we start, the people in Alberta are going to be um, extremely excited for us. and. And I think just just for sports to start back up uh, as well.